Right, so let me uh, let's start the pyro simulation. So um, a lot of what we need is in the debris simulation, in the debris um, kind of network there. So I'm just going to copy that whole thing, call this pyro uh, dust, and then dive inside. And then I'm going to delete all of this. I'm just going to set this to manual for the moment. And you can see I've got the uh, simulation turned off as well, just in case uh, all of this we don't need. It's just these kind of first few uh, nodes at the top. Oops. Um, okay, so. So yeah, we want the speed coming in, but um, for these for the um, pyrosim, I want you know I want the smoke coming from the slower part of the simulation, so the bigger, slower moving pieces. Um, and then we're unpacking it and deleting outside. That's fine. Maybe I can turn that back on now and go forward a few frames, maybe just to there. Great. And then I'm going to yeah delete outside. I'm also going to delete a B box, so um, I want to I want to delete um, anything underneath the, the ground or anything under you know uh, minus zero basically. So uh, the, a quick way to do it is just with a bounding box. Um, I'm just going to make it really big, so just make sure that it fits our whole scene. Um, so in the size, let's do it 16, and then copy this parameter, paste relative references there, and then multiply that by 0.5, and I will um, drop it on the floor. And now you can see we've just got the bottom, so we just need to delete non-select. That will isolate everything above um, zero in Y. Um, so that's good to go with that. With the... Um, this geometry, I want to get the velocity there. Okay, we will we'll need that for the, the, so this is gonna be our collider, right? And then also a time blend for these sub steps um, in the pyro solver. Okay, 